Listen to this exhaust note. Burble, burble, burble. Sounds awesome. I do like this car, guys. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Brailsford's Rides. Today we got an exciting video. We're here again at Moore Buick GMC in Jacksonville, North Carolina. And we're taking out this 2019 Bullet Mustang. Uh, I've never driven a Bullet Mustang. The only specialty Mustangs I've driven have been the Boss 302 the G and the GT350. So this will be a first for me. This paint job on this one is still immaculate. It looks great. And I do love the, uh, the five spoke wheels. I do wish they had gone with a little more classic round bullet wheels, but uh, these still look great. Got those big six pot pistons back there. And the chrome accents, classic chrome accents definitely add to this car. But anytime you do a specialty Mustang, you wanna make sure you do it right. And I definitely think they've done that with the black wheels and the chrome accents on this one. Of course, you got your uh, classic bullet emblem. It's got a backup camera too. Looks like this one's still rocking stock exhaust. Let's take a look inside. You got a leather interior. Looks like you got heated and cooled seats. That's awesome. The bullet steering wheel is really nice. 
manual, so it's gonna be a MT82. As we all know, yeah. once the Mach 1 came out, they upgraded, they put in a Tremec, but this one's still got the MT82. We got exhaust modes over there, it looks like, so we're gonna play with that. The sill plates, bolt width sill plates are very nice. The modern Mustang, compared to the S197 that I got, they've definitely cleaned up the inside a lot, made it look a lot more, a lot more modern, a lot more just well put together. Got brushed aluminum kind of look right here for the dash, I really like that. So pop in the hood, you can see we got the GT350 intake on this car, that's what bumps it from the 460 up to the 480 horsepower. So the motor's very clean, this car's only got 20,000 miles. And this is what they should have done, honestly. This is what they should have done for the engine dress up as opposed to the Starship Enterprise that they put on the GT. Those that engine cover on the GTs is atrocious. I do like the uh, the bullet plate that's, you know, riveted into the cross member. sounds good it's got more of a classic tone I think than the modern coyotes not sure exactly what they did to the exhaust to make it sound different but I do think it sounds different let's take this thing for a spin real quick all right so this is the first car I've been in with a digital dash and I really like it a lot of the older generation may not like this but I think this is awesome uh, I'm always a fan of new technologies in cars but it looks really cool playing with it we can set it to track mode, drag strip mode, okay. Snow mode, normal, oh. sport plus. I think we're gonna go to track. Snow wet, let's get back to track. We're in track mode, okay. All right, let's take it out for a spin. Here we go. So right off the back, MT82. I've never driven, I haven't driven many MT82s without a short throw shifter. And it's very evident, uh, it definitely feels like I'm shifting a truck. Short throw shifters are a must guys. Definitely get MGWs if you get an MT82. It cleans up a lot of this and then add the uh, stainless clutch line. And it takes care of a lot of the headaches that this thing produces. But very quick revving motor same red line as the boss i believe looks like actually looks like it might be 7400 on this the boss is 7500 but quick revving motor wants to get up and go a lot oh it's got rev matching it's got rev matching guys that's pretty interesting and i'm short shifting i'm shifting at 6000 rpm we're not even going all the way guys and it's it's, it's rev happy. These newer Gen 3 Coyotes are awesome, guys. The direct injection definitely brings out a lot more potential in the motors. I do wish that they had just went ahead and did fully forged pistons along with the crank, just like they took from the Boss. They took the Boss crank, but they didn't take the pistons. So you're still running the hyper eutectic pistons, I believe, uh, and that's susceptible to blowouts when you get to the high horsepower applications. I'm gonna let it rev match. Oh yeah, she's rev matching on her own, which is pretty neat. Never had a car do that. I always have to do it manually. Here we go. She's fun. Fun and peppy. Uh, the independent rear suspension, independent suspension guys is awesome. I've, uh, I've said that before in the 2015 I drove. It just, it takes these turns so well. The digital dash is really clean. I haven't really played with it much. We got your inlet air, cylinder head temperatures, air fuel ratio, vacuum voltage. And for you guys who have the 18s and ups, I'm sure you know this, 
Oh, we got your G meters here. That's pretty awesome. Looks like someone's taking a left-hand turn at nearly one G. So this car has been driven. <laughs> I can see it right there. It's got the, uh, that's pretty awesome. And it's nice because you can keep your foot on the brake and uh, rev match. Here we go. It's very crisp how these things accelerate. Uh, the, the acceleration is so smooth. It's only broken up by my, uh, my shifting ability. Which I'm not used to this uh, longer throw with the MT-82, so I'm getting used to it a little bit. But I'm still, I still have been able to get it in. The leather interior, I prefer, I love a leather interior. Uh, it looks very clean in here. I like it personally because I like to take my dogs for rides. Uh, you got the nice bullet with the build number right up here on the dashboard, and it's taking these bumps really well, especially since it's in track mode. That's kind of, it's kind of impressive. Let's see what I can show you guys. The color shift lights, I do like those a lot. Look at them. It the, the, it's interesting, the, uh, the red comes on well before red line. I wonder if you can adjust that. Telling you to shift, it dings at you. Telling you to shift. There it is. It's telling me to, oh. I think you could set the red line. It looks like you can. I don't know how to adjust that, but the red line's set at 4,000 RPM, and that's when it's dinging. I figured. I just figured that out. And I'm sure, like I said, a lot of you 18 and up guys are probably like, well, no duh, dingus. But uh, I'm just now seeing that for the first time. Sharp turn. No issues at all. And I took that turn pretty pretty sharp, guys. The stock exhaust note on this car has a nice little burble to it. That's for sure. Sounds crisp, sounds good. If you guys are looking for a nice performance car, that's also a collector's car, a Bullet's a nice one to get for sure. Bullet has that classic heritage dating back to Steve McQueen. Uh, if you guys saw the original Bullet recently sold for like $3 million, it's ridiculous something like that this one's only got 20,000 miles it's barely broken in these coyotes are pretty pretty bulletproof let's put the windows down a bit oh there's definitely a burble you can't hear with the windows down I heard it bouncing off the building to my left I love that exhaust note and the rev matching I am a huge fan of it. I'm a big fan of my boss, obviously, due to numbers and then like how exclusive it is. But this is a nice, this is a nice collector's piece. If you're into, you want a collector's car that you can daily drive, I, I would absolutely get a bullet, man, absolutely. She absolutely sounds good, runs great. I appreciate more Buick GMC. So if you're in the market, definitely go check them out. This car should still be on the lot. Reach out to them, let them know I sent you. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for our test drive of this 2019 bullet definitely a clean car rides smooth definitely love the independent rear suspension and digital dash that these modern cars have the braking's phenomenal and like i said independent rear suspension helps it handle really well i do wish that it came with something a little bit wider on the front and the rear as you can see there is room that these things are tucked under the fenders a little extra and i think they could have beefed these out a little bit maybe to 275s and then to some 305s or at least 285 is like the boss here on the rear but other than that you know i wasn't having too many traction issues but i did i did leave traction control on so there's something to be said for that but it's a clean car the exhaust note not 100 percent on what the engineers did to make it sound burbly like it does uh, but i think it definitely has a different note than the uh gts do you like this car maddox mm -hmm. so if you're in the market guys come check them out at more buick gmc tell them i sent you and they should hook you up. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you do like this video, click that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want me to do more car content like this. Let me know what kind of cars you're interested in. They do get some pretty cool things on the lot. As you guys have already seen the scat pack, here's a Supra. And there was a C8 here, but it looks like that just sold. So, well, maybe next time.
But again, stay blessed, stay safe. We'll see you next time on Brailsford Rides. Take care. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me. Turn it up and do the green. Bitch, you ain't seen anything.